This is Guitaru Man. Guitaru Man's a rhythm game that was released for the PlayStation 2 in 2001 and the PSP in 2006. It was developed by Innis, who have made games in the pop and music and the Osu franchises, as well as elite beat agents for the DS. The gameplay here consists of three main phases, charge, attack, and guard. In each phase, you'll have to follow a trace line with the analog stick and press the face buttons in sync with the music to play notes. In the charge phase, you restore your health by playing notes. In the attack phase, you damage your opponent by playing notes. And in the guard phase, you defend yourself from your opponent's attacks in a different way, but still by playing notes. You get points based on how well your timing is with the notes on screen. Greats are worth 100 points, goods are worth 50 points, and OKs are only worth one. At the end of the song, your life gauge also gives you bonus points. For example, if you finish a song with 100% of your life gauge, you'll get 10,000 points. If you have 82% of your life gauge, you'll get 82,000 points. You get it. The game has 10 levels on PS2 and 12 levels on PSP, each with a different musical genre and a unique boss associated with them. The game features a completely original soundtrack by the Japanese band Coil and a unique visual art style by Mitsuru Nakamura. The game follows the story of Yu-1, a young boy who's often bullied and ignored by his crush, Pico, who's dating this douchebag, Kazuya. One day, he discovers that he's the legendary warrior, Guitaru Man, who can transform into a guitar hero with the help of his talking dog, Puma, and the last Guitaru, which is the last of the magical guitars that can save the universe from the evil Rebellion Empire. The first stage is a fight against Pampius, a mischievous demon with an axe that wants to cut you one in half. Pampius asks if you one is Guitaru Man, which Puma comes in and confirms that you one is in fact Guitaru Man, and hands him his Guitaru, transforming him for the first time. They fight it out, and you one wins, acquiring the axe Guitaru that can rip through space time. The song that plays here is called Twisted Reality, and it's a sweet rock song with a sick guitar riff throughout. It gets soloed over by Guitar Man and Pampius. The second stage is a fight against Flying O, a UFO character and the commander of the Gravillion Space Fleet. Flying O heads to Earth with his minions, known as the Little O's, to attack U1 and get his Guitaru. Prior to the invasion of Earth, U1 had a big drama with his love interest, Pico, whose boyfriend absolutely roasted U1 for falling off his skateboard. Ah, Pico! <laughs> you can't do anything, let alone skateboard. Face it, you'll never succeed. Not in a hundred million years. Well, I will too succeed! No, wait, maybe not. <laughs> I'm pathetic. <laughs> then, Flying O shows up and Puma pushes him to a safe spot to give him his Guitaru. They fly through the sky and they fight it out until Flying O is defeated and forced to give U1 his Guitaru, a guitar type. They soon go out of control and they crash into the forest. The song that plays during the Flying O fight is called Fly Into Your Heart. It's a fast upbeat and energetic song with a catchy vocal hook, heavy reverb, and sweet synth solos. Okay, listen, you one. You are of the Guitaro Man bloodline, inheritor of the legendary Guitaro. If you can collect all of the Guitaros, you'll gain great powers and Puma, I have other plans. Down in the forest, Puma tells you one that he's part of the Guitaro bloodline and related to the legendary Guitaro himself. You one learns that if he collects all eight Guitaros, that he will become the true Guitaro Man. Then, out of nowhere, they're attacked by another one of Zoe's warriors. Mojo King B, a giant B with a sick saxophone. Puma transforms into AC30, that's the robot version of him, and throws you one his Guitaru, and they begin fighting it out. After a while, U1 knocks Mojo King B into a lake and he sinks to the bottom, presumably drowning to death, and getting U1 another Guitaru. The song that plays while you're fighting Mojo is a head-bobbing, instrumental blues jam with sweet, smooth sax solos sprinkled throughout 
and an electronic backing track. A hologram of Miranda, the leader of the old Gravillian Empire before it was taken over by the villain Zoe, appears, and he congratulates you one for defeating such a powerful warrior. He tells you one to come to planet Gitaru immediately to help free them. Puma's got the woofer jet ready, and they take off against you one's will, who just wants to focus on his skateboarding and impress Pico. I'm going to practice my skateboarding and Pico's going to be like, wow, you're so cool. <laughs> In space, Zoe sends another enemy at them. It's Ben K, a robotic space shark. What results is a long defense level that's extremely difficult, even when playing on normal and hard. A heavy electronic song called Void plays while you defend yourself. Eventually, Guitaru Man and U1 end up on a small little planet, still fighting Ben K. But now, Ben K has left his shark form and is now a robot that wields the turntable Guitaru in his chest. Throughout the battle, U1 is afraid of Ben K and mostly runs away, using tricks like Look over there! to trick him. It's by far the most boring of all the levels in the game, being a slower and easier song, mixed with the concept of Guitaru Man running away over and over again. But eventually, Guitar Man hits him with a ton of power, sending him into space and taking his guitar. The song that plays here is called Enough Respect, and it's a slow reggae song with a heavy use of a theremin and turntables. Nothing screams robo mech fight in space like slow reggae music, eh? Fun fact, in the PS2 version, if you eject the disc during this battle and reinsert it, it results in an instant win. A blimp then appears and shows a hologram of Zoe, the villain, who introduces himself and explains that he's been searching for the last Gitaru for his entire life and asks U1 to hand it over. U1 refuses, and they smack talk each other for a little bit. You cannot possibly defeat me. Not in a million billion years. They fly on over to planet Gitaru and crash at the shore. U1 and Puma then start a campfire by a tree, and they chill there for a bit, before U1 sees a girl that he thinks is Pico, but he's mistaken. It's a different girl. Her name's what are you Kira. Doing here? Uh, well, I just found this here and uh Can you sit down there? Oh, uh, uh, sure. Yu one plays her a pretty lullaby on the guitaru, and she eventually rests her head on his shoulder, and they fall asleep together. The song Yu one plays here is called the legendary theme. It's a slow acoustic instrumental song played on a simple acoustic guitar. I don't know what it is about the song, but I find it really pretty. The visuals and themes from the game that tie into the song hits hard too, especially knowing what's about to go down later. No, that's not a sex joke. Yu1 wakes up and realizes that both Kira and Puma are no longer there. Alone and scared, he runs away from the tree looking for Puma, but ends up falling for Zoe's trap in the ground. The trap leads him to the Sandbone Trio in the town square. Yu1 sees that Puma has been captured by Zoe and the Sandbone Trio, causing him to be unable to transform into Guitar Man. Through dodging the enemy's attacks, Yu1 eventually manages to free Puma, get the Guitar and transform into the hero again. Guitar Man defeats the trio and gets their guitar, saving the town from the clutches of Zoe. The song Born to be Bone plays. It's a cool samba song with skeletons playing an electronic gonza and a ton of weird mechanical sounding sample sounds sprinkled throughout. Miranda tells you one that he only has two guitars left to get and explains how important it is that somebody as villainous as Zoe does not get all eight guitars. There's another one inside a tower being held by Gregorio III. You know the drill. They fight it out in a musical battle. The song that plays here is called Tainted Lovers and it's a gothic metal opera song with electric guitars, an orchestra, and keyboards. You one defeats Gregorio and receives the second last Guitaru. This then leads him to Guitaru Arena, where Zoe is hanging out with the warrior who holds the last Guitaru to collect. And it's Kira. 
Yep, it turns out that Kira is in fact one of Zoe's gladiators and is determined to fight Yu-1. But Yu-1 refuses to fight, dodging all of her attacks and eventually collapsing and staying perfectly still while she attacks him. He then begins to play an electronic and much fuller mix of the legendary theme that he played at the tree to remind Kira that music is not for fighting. This is the best song in the game in my opinion. Kira finally realizes what he means and joins him in playing the lullaby before giving Yu-1 her guitar root, which means that now Yu-1 has everything he needs to become the true guitar root. But it's not over yet. Zoe appears and decides to fight Yu-1 himself in his armor guitar. Yu-1 tells Zoe that he has nobody left to fight for him and is all alone. Zoe calls Yu-1 a pathetic loser that can never be me in all of never ending eternity. Why you? You can do it. Don't tell me what you do. I can do it. What? Defeat me? I can. Not you. Can too. You're a loser. Am not. Always made fun of. No way. Always dumb. Never. Always running. No. Always failing. No. Failing all things. No. Can't do anything. Yes, I can. So what can you do? I can do it. What you can do? I can do it. What? What can you do? Show me now. Sure, I can. Miserable scum. Show me all you've got. I can do it. I can. No, you can't. I can. There's no way you can. And I can. You can. Because I can. Because what? Because. Sir, because what? I can do it. Because. Because. Go, you because I can get you one transforms into the true Guitaru Man using all eight Guitarus and fights Zoe in the sky. The song that gets played here is called Resurrection, and just like the song at the start of the game, it's a riff-heavy instrumental rock song full of hard guitar solos for a grand finale. Zoe is defeated and lost in space. Planet Gitaru is freed, and all the Gitarus are in U1's hands. So they head back to Earth. On Earth, U1 sees Pico, but is interrupted by Kazuya again, just like at the start of the game. But this time, U1 stands up to Kazuya and shows that he is now full of confidence, completing Yuan's character arc. That's pretty much it for the levels, but the PSP version does feature two bonus levels. So I played through the whole game, once on normal and once on hard, in an attempt to unlock them. Unfortunately, it seems that they're actually only playable in the game's multiplayer battle mode, which requires two PSPs to be connected through ad hoc to be able to play. There is a way to play the two bonus songs in an emulator, but every time I tried to load them, the game would just crash. You can find clips of the bonus songs online if you're interested. There are some other differences with the PSP version as well. It includes a much more zoomed in camera to accommodate the smaller screen, which means you have to have a faster reaction time to play the notes. There's also an auto assist for the analog stick that makes it feel like it's being magnetically pulled towards the trace line while you play. There's more multiplayer options as well, including a co-op mode, and a song that plays during the Flying O battle is now in English instead of Japanese. But other than that, it's pretty much the exact same game. I've actually been using the PSP game's cutscenes because they're in 16x9 and then the PS2 gameplay for the vast majority of this video. Guitar Man is one of those games that you have to experience for yourself to really appreciate its charm and creativity. It's not very long, it's really hard, but it's also really fun and very memorable. It's a cult classic that deserves way more recognition and appreciation from rhythm game fans. I feel like I've done my part with that, so I guess that's it for this video. Uh, thanks again for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Love you guys. Peace.